So that that being said, right? Mm-hmm. I got a question about you said that people would spend a money a lot of money on the pack or whatever the the, the course or mentorship or what have you, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but they would be afraid to let go of their jobs. Mm-hmm. So playing devil's advocate, yeah. Uh, is that kind of like a real fear? Because technically today, if you quit your job, you ain't gonna get it back. It's over with. And then also that uh, taking that, right? Do you have like a guarantee? Like, is there any type of, so say I have a fire job as like a whatever, and I quit it, but I ain't gonna be able to get it back because the economy is what it is right now. Mm -hmm. But I believe in you, what Mm -hmm. you told me to do. Mm-hmm. But then say it's not really clicking like that, and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I'm doing all the SOPs and everything, right? Mm-hmm. It, what, how does that work with you guys, or is it just like? Oh no, I got out, you. Bro? I know. I know exactly what you're saying. Okay. So with anything in life, no matter what it is, mm-hmm. nothing is guaranteed. Exactly. A lot of people feel like there's job security wherever they're working, and they're like, "Hey, I've been here for 10, 20, 30 years," and all of a sudden get cut right before the pension comes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like. It happens on such an extreme amount on a daily basis that like people don't think about it because they're comfortable. And you know what happens when people get comfortable? Like they literally get stuck in that same mindset, running the same job, working it over and over and over again. And when they get laid off or when they lose their job, it blindsides them. And it blindsides them because they didn't see it coming because they're not the owner of the company and they don't make those decisions. So they don't have any responsibility of whether you're gonna stay or not. They don't have any say so, Mm -hmm. but they were comfortable in their mind that, hey, I'm good, because I got this steady job for here for 10 years. They've never let me go. But then you got let go. Mm -hmm. And you're like, how the hell did this shit happen? Anything else, just like in business, the amount of work that you apply towards it is gonna be reciprocated in the award that you're gonna get because it's the persistency of how much you're putting towards that effort to build it out. It's just like a plant, just like you know, um, nurturing a child. Like the energy and the love that you give it, it's gonna groom it up to be what you want it to be. But the thing is, it takes time. And see, a lot of people are still caught up, and I go back to this again. They go back to the shortcuts. They go back to wanting to get things quick. Like these days, you look on social media, man, when people say something like, hey, man, I can go ahead and get the bag, man, doing this play. And, you know, this right here, I could get it in like two weeks. If I go ahead and do X, Y, and Z, you know, I could make 10 grand or whatever, but it's not sustainable, though. And you may be able to do it. You might not be able to do it. But the thing is, it's all about whether or not you're in a business that you know is sustainable, but you're willing to put in the work to create that sustainability. Because healthcare has been around forever. The biggest industries pretty much in the world is always till this day going to be one of the biggest industries during the recession, during the pandemic, when everybody was losing their jobs, when restaurants were closing down, when other facilities were closing down, our business is going like this, making more and more and more money every mm-hmm. single day. It don't matter if it's a recession, it don't matter if it's a pandemic, we're going to still keep making money because healthcare requires medical necessities, which requires something that has to happen no matter what. No matter what the state of the economy is, no matter what's going on in the world, healthcare has to happen. Hospitals are not going to close down. Hospitals are going to pretty much be the number one thing that's always going to be open. If that particular person needs medication, if that person needs to be repositioned, like I was talking about you guys, for like wound care and everything else, mm-hmm. like all those things have to happen and they're never going to be a situation where they're like, oh, we're not going to provide healthcare to these people anymore because the economy is in a bad state. It doesn't happen. And that's the reason why there's so many companies that are fighting to purchase healthcare companies, which is actually really cool too, 